which is about one fifth of the voting population of the state, resulted in a change from election night of only six votes, and that was in one precinct. So as the Minnesota Supreme Court found two years ago, Minnesota has a good election system. It went smoothly this year, and we expect the results strongly in favor of Mark Dayton to hold up very well. Mr. Littlehug, as you know, the uh, Republican leadership are, is making quite a bit of noise about the possibility of fraud or incompetence. Uh, you're saying you don't see it here, and although one county does not the entire state make, you expect this pattern to continue. If I recall on Wednesday, the chair of the Republican Party specifically called out Hennepin County. Um, that was discussed today, and it is clear that the results from Hennepin County are accurate. And so there, there was some smoke smoke raising and bomb throwing on Wednesday, but in the quiet halls of Hennepin County in the boardroom today, the results were approved. And I noticed that the motion to approve the results, by the way, uh, was made by Commissioner Jeff Johnson, who is a Republican and a lawyer. And I think that indicates that any fair, nonpartisan, and bipartisan review of the results um, will show that Mark Dayton got more votes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Mr. Lohawk, how many votes uh, are out there to uh, switch and come our way? You uh, and party chairman raised some questions about the integrity of this process here. Uh, again, it doesn't appear as if that is the case. Well, the questions were raised because of a, an unprecedented uh, uh, occurrence on election night where we saw uh, Tom Emmer's uh, um, deficit shrink from approximately 150,000 to 60,000 in one deft move. Uh, so obviously we want to do the recount and make sure that the actual ballots, when we do the hand recount, uh, actually measure up with uh, the statistics as they're reported. And that's the whole purpose of the administrator recount in a race as close as this. Are you satisfied with only counting 13 precincts then? Well, uh, that's what the statute requires in this particular process. That is only a uh, uh, post-election review required by statute. The administrative recount, of course, would be all 425 precincts will be satisfied recounting all 425, of course. Tony, are you satisfied with the county's explanation of the apparent errors that were made in the count? At this point, uh, I reserve comment. We're, obviously, the, the hand count uh, of the recount will tell us whether we're satisfied or not, and that's what we look to do. Anything from the 2008 uh, recount that gives you insight into what, what to do next here? Anything that, uh, any lesson going forward here? Well, in the 2008 recount, uh, the other side had a job to do, which was to find votes and make uh, certain that those votes are going their way. Uh, we're doing the same this time because uh, the shoe is on the other foot. And uh, so the insight is that we're, uh, we're tracking our gear quite nicely right now. Is your party or your candidate giving any thought to waiving the automatic recount? No, uh, none whatsoever. And how will you decide if you challenge it? How do we decide if we challenge the, the, in yeah. terms of a contest? At the end, yeah. Yeah. At the end right. Well, I think the facts and circumstances at that time would dictate the, the decision. It's too early to say at this point. But do you feel any differently than last week when there were quite a bit of, uh, you raised quite a bit of objection to this? Well, I do feel differently. If you recall election night uh, at the 100% reporting, I believe there were some 9,200 votes separating the candidates. That number now is down to approximately 8,600. So there have been shifts going on as the counties across the state are reviewing their numbers. Uniquely, the net gain every day has been to the Ember campaign. So there's been, a, again, about a 6.5 percent uh, reduction of the deficit uh, at the very, very uh, first three days of this effort. So we feel confident that we're moving forward, and obviously the process has to uh, run its course. Overcoming a deficit of even 8,600 8, is pretty, uh, pretty tough to do. It is, but overcoming a 9,200 vote deficit has already been knocked down by 6.5% in three days. So I'll take my day-to-day -day count and extrapolate that pattern. Maybe we'll do quite well. Thank you. Good, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Republican Party after the Ember campaign. Right, thank you. It's Tony Trimble, T-O-N-Y. T-R-I-M-B-L-E, attorney for the Republican Party of Minnesota and the Younger Campaign. Dayton is 237995.
Ah, uh, you know, I'll okay. make a call. Emmer okay. is 168524. Horner there. is 57116. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Are you going to do any of procedures today downstairs in the auditorium? We're going to look at the ballots in the uh, We won't be looking at the ballots. Uh, the ballots are still coming in from each of our individual 46 cities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. 